black flame of the Amazon, featuring Harold Noyce, world famous explorer in person. <laughs> Recall last time we left Little Jean and Jimmy Brady and the Indian boy Quito making hurried plans to play a joke on Mr. Noyce and Pedro. You remember? It was the explorer's plan to leave the youngsters at the trading post while he and Pedro hurried on upriver after Butch Grogan. Mr. Noyce learns that Jean and Jimmy intend to follow him in a canoe of their own. And to prevent this, Pedro is going to fix a sea anchor on their canoe. It won't be seen, but it will make it almost impossible to paddle in the swift flowing river. That's the plan, yes. But Jimmy and Jean know about this plan, and they have another one, a dandy, too, this time. Pedro is going to get the surprise of his life. If he only knew what was what, maybe he wouldn't go near that canoe. Anyway, we find Jean and Jimmy down by the riverbank out of sight. Quito is approaching, dragging something through the brush. Did you get it, Kiko? Si, senorita. I get it very okay. Look. It is follow me behind the long rope like one little dog. Gee. Hot dog. Will you look at that one? Boy, is that a snake. But you have only see half yet. There. Th there is much more still to come out of the bushes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Isn't that a lalapalooza? Gee, that must have been the head man snake of all the snakes in the jungle. Yes. It is very quite big one. Oh, very big. You know, Kato... I thought it was some kind of a fish story when you told us it was 25 feet long. But it is 25 feet long. See? Well, the main thing is, it's a dead snake. Ah, <laughs> see, senorita. It is very, very dead. Been very dead long time. See? With his foot, step on it. See the rat? It is all stuffed with grass. <laughs> Ooh, but look at that big head, will you? And the teeth, too. Gosh, it almost looks alive. But say, Keto, did anyone see you getting this snake from the hut? No, Senor Jim. No one see. I'm go quiet. Oh, but, but suppose Mr. Morton misses it. No, Senorita. This little snake here, he's been stay on one hut where no one goes very much, except Keto. But won't Mr. Morton maybe be sore at us taking it? Oh, no. The Senor Morton, he say one time, Keto... Take those on the corner away from here. Oh. He not want this stuff steak no more. And you put it in one of the store huts. See, si, I'm keep it maybe. Why, I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, when we get through with this snake, it won't be of much use. I'll say it won't. Anyway, it'll be all soaking wet after we sink it in the river. Yeah. No, Senor Jim. But now, because it is full of the dry grass, it will not sink in the water. It will float. Well, sure. But we'll fix that. Look. Look, all kinds of little rocks and pebbles. Now, let's get to work. You mean we're going to stuff some rocks into it? Well, sure. To make it heavy so it'll sink under the water, see? Well, excuse me all to pieces, but I'm not touching that thing, even though it is a stuffed snake. Phew, I don't like snakes. Well, okay, Jean. But Tito and me, we'll take care of that. But listen, you better get back up on the bank and keep watch. We don't want Mr. Noyce or Pedro or Mr. Morton to walk in on us till we get this all fixed. Okay, I'll go now. And listen, 
I'll whistle like this. If I see anyone coming. Swell, Jean. I'll be listening. Senor Jean, with the knife, cut it underneath where he sawed. Here, I have the stones. Well, okay. Uh, I'll make the first little slot here. How's that? Kito, think very much good. Make more of the same at the same place. I will put in the stones. Well, this isn't so hard to take, Kito. That is one good joke, I think. Maybe I try the white man joke on one of my people one time, just for to see the fun. Well, it might be a good idea, Kito. But how's this snake coming along? I have all the stones inside almost. Just have two more. Here, I put them in by the tail. So. Will we have to sew these places up again? No, the whole she is not big. The stones, they will not fall out. I am think we will not need to do any so. Oh, that's well. Then we're all set. Now, wait. Let's see how Jane's getting along. Hey, Jane, how is it up there? Oh, quite on the western front, Jimmy. Okay, Jane, but watch out for Pedro. Keto saw him go down to the river to the big dugout. Well, no, he isn't, Jimmy. Not anymore. He came back. He got the tool thing with him, too. Where is he now, Jane? He went into the trading post. Okay, I'll watch. Go ahead. All right, Kito. We've got to work fast now. This is going to be heavier now with all the rocks in its tummy. Well, let's go. Gee, that's a swell piece of rope you've got around its neck. A long one, too. I find the long one so we can hide and have the end with us. Now, let's haul it over to the water's edge. Come on. Gosh, this takes plenty of horsepower, huh? And you want me to swim in the water and take the snake with me? No, we won't need to do, do that. Wait. Oh, oh that's far enough. It stretched out. Okay, now, you grab an armful, and I'll do the same. And we'll throw this stone stuff critter right into the big drink. All right, let's go. All right, Senor Jim. I'm ready. All set. One, mm. two, three, go! Mm. Ah, swell. It sank like a log. Give me the end of the rope, Keto. Thanks. I'm going into the dugout and pull the snake's head up close to the side. So it'll pop right up out of the river when we pull on the rope. This is one most very good joke, Senor Jim. <laughs> All right now, Keto. Now, when I get into the dugout... Well, here. Now, you take the end of the rope and sort of thread it through the bushes there, right by the canoe. See, si, Senor Jim. I'm do that now. Now, now, I'll sort of lay the rope across the grass roof of the cabin here. Whoop. How's that? How's it look now, Keto? Those ropes, she's look like the thatch roof. I'm almost very nearly not safe at all. <laughs> Boy, that's great stuff. Now, if it can almost very nearly fool you, it almost very nearly ought to fool Pedro for sure. Can I pull some more rope, senor? Well, sure. Now, go ahead. Well, I think you can have about ten yards more. Plenty slack. Go ahead. I, I'm coming out to help you. <laughs> ah, look. It is the most very good place to hide. You said it. The three of us can be in here under this big bush, and nobody can see us. And we can see good what has happened at the dugout. Well, sure. And here's what we do now. Now, when Pedro comes down here with his water bucket and stuff, we let him go to work. And wait till he's just going to hang the bucket in place under the water. And then we give him the workings, eh? You mean the works, Keto. And how? He'll be leaning away over the side, and his arm will be down under the water. And then we pull this rope like everything. And up out of the river, right by his head, pops something. See, si, Senor Jim. One big snake, which is very much Lollapalooza, eh? <laughs> boy, oh boy, is this going to be good, though? They will play joke on us. Oh, yeah? Shh! That was the senorita. That was the signal. Somebody's coming, I guess. Hey, Jimmy. Kito, where are you? Oh, over this way, Jean. In here. We got a swell place. Well, I'm coming in. Say, where's the entrance? Oh, oh, here it is. You got everything fixed? Everything, Jean. Well, then you better get all set. Mr. Norris and Pedro, they just came out of the trading post. Now. And now they're coming down the clearing slowly. Laughing, too. Oh, they are, huh? Well, okay. We'll laugh, too, but later. I hope the good joke, it will work. Say, Keto, it can't miss. It just can't. Look, Jean, here's the rope. Now, look. It goes out along this bush and yeah. along the side of the dugout. And then, now you see over there, yeah. it goes over the thatch roof of the cabin and down under the water. Yeah, I see it. Look, Jimmy, I wouldn't have noticed it if you hadn't pointed. And, Senorita, the big snake, its head is just in the water below the rope. Then we pull from here 
the big head come pop up like so. <laughs> <laughs> and about that time, Pedro will about jump out of his boots, huh? And, <laughs> uh, Jean, when he jumps, his boots will be so scared to go with him. <laughs> Ooh, shh, shh. I feel someone come. Okay, let's pipe down. Yeah, here they come. <laughs> yeah, you know... It's been a long time since I answered, entered into any pranks like this, Pedro. See, <laughs> 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 si, senor, you and me both also. But I'm like very much those what you call pranks. See, si, senor. <laughs> Once more again, I am feel very, very young. Oh, yes. yes, you know, there's an old saying back home. A little nonsense now and then is relished by the best of men. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and what will the senorita and the senor Jim say when they find those dog out? It is go where it is not one to go. It will be much fun to see, senor. Oh, see. Yes, it should be. <laughs> Only we'll not be here to see it. We leave here at daybreak tomorrow, and they won't push off to follow for at least an hour or so, perhaps after breakfast. Ah, but the senor Morton, he will watch. He will see everything, and he will tell us when we return here. Then we can laugh plenty, eh? Mm-hmm. All right, Pedro, now the coast seems clear. Oh, look, they actually have got some stuff packed aboard. Ah. Now, remember, touch nothing. Oh, no, senor, no. Nothing I will touch. They never know I have done this. No, uh -huh. no. Pedro is the most very good at play these pranks. Ah, oh, see, si, senor, I love to play pranks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you better get going, then. You've got the eyeball. Uh, see, si, senor, right here in my hand. Uh -huh. And here is the most lovely water box. Uh -huh. Look, nice, eh? <laughs> I will go on the doghouse, lean very much over with uh -huh. the one hand under the water. Uh -huh. And look, you see this hook? Yeah. I put this hook very most firm in the bottom. Yeah. Then I'm hook this bucket on the nice hook and... That will be those, eh? Yeah, good. And just so you won't be disturbed or caught in the act, I'll get back up the clearing and see if I can locate the three youngsters. See, si. Hurry back to the post now, please. Uh, si, senor. I do this very quickly. There he goes, folks. Just hang on to your seats now. But do not do it yet, senor Jim. Not yet. Well, I won't. But wait till he's all set to put the bucket in place. Say, look. Hey, this pup. You see that? He's almost right alongside the rope, too. Yeah. And when that snake comes up... It's going to tickle his ear in two different places. See, your regime, I think I want to laugh now. <laughs> no, hold it, Keto, hold it. Don't laugh now. Don't dare laugh yet. Oh, watch out, Jim. There he goes. He's fixing the hook now. Better get ready, see, your regime. <laughs> I am ready. One side, gang. Now, give me room. This has got to be good. Get set, folks. And how would you like to be Pedro right now? Leaning away over the side of a canoe, and there's a big something lying under the water with a rope around its stuffed neck, ready to pop right up. Well, Pedro plays pranks, and so do some others we know. And what Pedro is going to do in the next few moments, well, that's hard to tell. But it's going to be something, so don't miss it. Tune in next time. If there's going to be some laughing, you might as well be in on it, too. So I'll be seeing you. Mm -hmm.